In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a link tree for Instagram. So here's just some bodybuilder guy that I follow, Joel Davis, and he's got a link tree link in his bio. Now, when people click on this link, it redirects them to this page where they can then go ahead and click on other links that he's added. So he's got his Gymshark affiliate code here. This will take them to Gymshark. He's got his training plans and different places here that he wants to send his traffic to. Now, this is what Linktree is great for. It's a link in bio tool, and it allows you to send your traffic from your social media to anywhere. So you can go ahead and create your free Linktree account. So go ahead and enter in a username here. This is going to be your username, which is going to appear next to your link. Claim your Linktree username, sign up for a free account, and then you'll be taken to the dashboard. So I've got my account here. This is an account I use for another video called Budget YouTuber, and I'm linking to different products on Amazon. I'm just going to delete these and show you how Linktree works for this video. So once you're first in the Linktree dashboard, you probably want to go to appearance first and set up your profile. So here in the profile, what you can do is you can add an image. So go and add your image. I'd recommend you add the same image as the one on Instagram. So your branding is consistent, right? So I'm just going to leave this image. Obviously, you would just click pick an image and choose your own image from your computer. You can also add from Canva or an NFT. You can then change your username if you want and add a bio. So I'm just going to change this to how to tutorial videos. You can also add social icons. So if you go ahead and click add social icons, it will redirect you to the settings page where you can then link to your different social medias. So you can click add icon and you can add here. Let's say I want to add my Instagram, enter in my username, add to link tree. And there you go. It's just added my Instagram. You can do the same here for different social medias. You can then have this displayed on the top or the bottom. Obviously, this isn't going to change for me because I haven't added any links yet. One last thing you want to check, go to appearance. And then in appearance, if you scroll down to themes with the free plan, you are going to have very minimal themes, but you can make them work. Lake white is all right. So is Lake Black, to be honest. Uh, but you've just got to choose a theme that works with your branding. You can customize these themes. So if you scroll down, you can choose a color or a gradient. And you can go ahead and edit this. You can also choose like the button. Do you want the button to be rectangle or curved edges and so on. So now let's get to adding links. So if you go to links, what you can do is you can send your traffic anywhere and add any links. So if you go to add link, you can then enter in a URL. So let's say I want to send people to my YouTube channel. So I will go ahead and get the necessary link to the channel. Here, if I go view my channel, I can then copy this link and then I can go back to Linktree, paste in my URL, click add. Then it's going to add my URL here and we can go ahead and edit this. And this is going to be the title. So here I could say, subscribe to my YouTube doesn't have to be in caps. You can type this however you want. You can also add emojis, which a lot of people do. Then you can see here under link settings, it's going to link off to the YouTube website, which is fine. You can then also add thumbnails if you want. So you can add like little thumbnail icons. Some people do this. It's just going to add like an image next to your text. And that's pretty much it for the free plan. That's kind of like all you would want to do. And you can add multiple links here. So let's say I also want to link to somewhere else. I'll just link to Google as an example. I'm not sure what happened there. Okay, so let's just run with this. And then if we wanted to move these links around, you can just go to the left of the link and you can drag this up and down. And it's going to update here on your preview. Then once you're happy with everything, you've added as many links as you want. If you go to share, you can then copy your link here. So this is going to be your link tree link. Let's open it in a new tab. And here is your landing page. And that's it. Now, if you want to get rid of this Linktree branding, you are going to have to upgrade to a paid plan. But in short, that's how you use Linktree for Instagram. You would then add this link here to your bio. You'd have to do it on your phone, though, because I don't think you can add links on the computer. But just go ahead and add this link in your website section on your Instagram bio. But that's how you do it. I hope that helps you out.